Hi, good afternoon on a Sunday, uh, sunny Sunday afternoon in uh, Queensland, in Australia on the Sunshine Coast. So trying to make, so this is, yeah, it's just um, something I wanted to give a go and I'm really hoping it turns out nicely. It's kind of something that I've, I think I've done it before. It's a, it's a split cut pour, but I'm going to do it a little bit different. I am going to start on the bottom with this. So I'm going to put my split cup. I'm going to use this chocolate. So it was the burnt umber mixed with the um, a blob of black, basically. That's all it was. So go to now. This is the gold. Here. I think I did put some white in this gold. I'm not 100% certain. So I've been doing lots of different pours over the weekend and videoing them and then um, going back to my colours again. Now this was white but I put a big chunk of gold in the white and it sent it this lovely sort of nice shimmery sort of um, skin tone colour but it's quite nice. Side my cups. Oh, they're having a mess. I'm going to try. I'm not sure if I will be able to succeed with this double bowl to kind of do a figure eight, but let's give it a go. I think I needed more colour in this. I'm not going to go anymore. Let's see how we go with this. A goldy gold. Okay, do I? Do I? Do I? Yes. Okay. I'm going to give it a little bit of the heat wand and see how we go with it. Now I'm feeling like I should be pouring a little bit more blue through that maybe I should the navy I'll just go back to the navy on its own um, ah. okay let's just try and see if I can do just the navy on its own more so as usual it doesn't go to plan but you know I will play with it until I get something that resembles something very gorgeous I'm sure so I was going to give that a little bit of a torch before I start tilting so it's just the heat torch heat one Let's give this a tilt. Let's see what we get out of this. These were very thin, thinly mixed paints too, so might end up swiping the whole lot. Let's just 
see how it goes. Oh, I'm actually liking what the blue, the blue that I've put separate. Look at this. Actually liking that. That is a good look. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful actually. Let's see if I can keep it, the momentum going. So just a gentle tilt. Side to side, nice and slow. Trying to do it slow. Oh, love that look, love that look. Oh, that's nice. Okay, okay. Come on, keep it going because I really like that. Really like this effect. It kind of looks like something geographic, like cut in the rock or sandstone. It's certainly got a sandstone y look. And I think I'm better off not doing um, heating this up to get cells because that will actually take away of that. No, that's, yeah, that's too nice on its own too. I don't need the cells. So just trying to do it slowly, slowly tilting your canvas backwards and forwards. It's a gorgeous piece of abstract art coming out of this. It is really lovely. These kind of things sell really well when they're on a bigger canvas too. I mean, this size is fine, but obviously this size is better for me to teach you a technique because it's more controllable in front of the camera. If I was doing a really big one where I had to tilt, I'd have to be working down on the floor and with somebody else helping me tilt the canvas, my son or something. Oh, but that's really nice. I like it. That's gorgeous. Please let me know what you're thinking, guys. Would you ever go at this? Have you done this? This is a meter eight. Oh, it was kind of a figure eight pour, and then it took on a whole life of its own. And the really beautiful thing that I'm really glad I did was pour that blue through afterwards. Because look at that. That is stunning. Don't worry about your very tippy corners. Just run your fingers underneath the edge and then just finger pop the colors onto areas. Oh wow, I love it. Wow, that is great. I'm not gonna put any heat on it. I'm not gonna balloon it. I love that. What do you think? That is so nice. So nice. I will. I will put photos on at the end. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Um, it's just a different thing. It's not got the cells. It's got movement, and it's quite striking. And I absolutely think I might do this on a large canvas to put on my one of my bedroom walls that I've got. Those colours would go perfect. It looks like a piece of sandstone cut and then it's got the... Oh, it's just lovely. I think it's beautiful. Tell me what you think. It's just something that's without, no, no cells. So it's a bit of a change for me because I get cells, obviously. So I'll put some photos on. Um, if you want to see it when it's fully dry, I can put it on my photos on my Acrylic Art by Julie Cube Facebook page. We also do have now an Australian acrylic pouring page. Um, I have, we have moderators on there and it's, it's basically um, a pouring page for worldwide, not just Australia, but for worldwide. So you can show me, I know lots of people write to me on my YouTube channel and would like to show me the particular pours that they've tried that that I've inspired. So the acrylic, um, Australian acrylic pouring channel is for just that, for you to give it a go and show me. So yeah, 
so thank you guys for subscribing to my channel uh, I appreciate each and every one keep watching keep your mind off other things support youtubers because a lot of the YouTube artists this may be their only income um, so just continue watching and supporting and it's costing you nothing and it's giving you uh, that time to just chillax so until next time thank you guys and if you haven't subscribed please do so because I have loads of videos there for you lots of beginners videos so bye for now Okay guys, I succumbed, it stretched out and went celly. I loved the look as it was without the cells, but then when the cells started to form as it dried, because I have put silicone in uh, the paints, the cells started to stretch and it didn't look so, kind of that geographic look of cut sandstone, which I loved. So I just gently, gently put in a few, a very few balloon kisses and then I trace them through with a skewer to make it look. And then with the balloon kisses, I, I press them onto this little canvas. So I kind of made a two for one. It wasn't how I left it and I know that some people are going to say, oh, you've ruined it now. But look, all these cells came up and it didn't look so good just on its own but I will try it another time and do exactly the same as I did but I won't add any silicone to the paint so it gets that lovely geographical look of cut stone but um, not the big cells so they've quite big stretched out so yeah I was quite pleased in the end but what I certainly certainly do love is those colours together really really going to do those again just love them so thanks for joining me, just this bonus bit, bye for now.